Frank and Sophia investigate two positive integers a and b as follows. First, Frank is going to pick a positive factor a of a, and Sophia is going to pick a positive factor b of b, and they are going to write down the product a times b on a sheet of paper. They are going to repeat the above procedure for all possible ordered pairs a, b. At the end, they calculate that the sum of all numbers on the paper is 2340. If both a and b are divisible by 6 and have only 2 and 3 as their prime factors, find the least possible value of a plus b. And before I go on, I want to recognize Gabriel N for being the very first person to correctly answer this challenge with the answer of 42. Now let's dive straight into the solution. So, the first thing to realize is that our value of 2340, so 2340, let me write this down, is equal to the sum of all positive factors, positive factors of A, times the sum of all positive factors of b. Why is 2340 equal to this thing? Well, let's say the positive factors of a are a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and all the way to, who knows, a sub n. And let's say the sum of all positive factors of b is a b sub 1 plus b sub 2 all the way to b sub m. Now, think about what's going to happen when we multiply these two. We are going to get, when we multiply these two expressions, a sub 1 times b sub 1, plus a sub 1 times b sub 2, plus all the way to a sub 1 times b sub m, and also a sub 2 times b sub 1, a sub 2 times b sub 2, and all the way to a sub 2 times b sub m, then we are going to do a sub 3 times b sub 1, a sub 3 times b sub 2, and so on. So we are going to be multiplying every positive factor a with a positive factor of b, and we are going to be summing them up. So multiplying these two expressions has to get us 2340. And this is nice because we have a nice compact formula to represent the sum of factors of a and the sum of factors of b from the information that a and b are divisible by 6 and have only 2 and 3 as their prime factors. This is telling us that a can be written as 2 to the sum x power times 3 to the sum y power such that x and y are greater than or equal to 1 because we know it's divisible by 6, we know the exponents are each greater than or equal to 1, and we only have 2 and 3 in the prime factorization. And in the same way, we know b can be written as 2 to the w times 3 to the z, where w and z are greater than or equal to 1. And we know the sum of all positive factors of a from number theory class can be written as 1 plus 2 to the first power plus 2 to the second power all the way to plus 2 to the x power times 1 plus 3 to the first plus 3 to the second all the way to 3 to the y. -th. So I'm saying the sum of all positive factors of a is this thing. And this can actually be verified using the same reasoning we used to verify that 2340 can be written like this. Because when we multiply these two expressions, we are going to be multiplying each item in the first expression by each item in the second expression. For example, we can get 2 to the first power times 3 to the second power. And keep on going this way, we are going to be summing up every single factor of a. So that's the sum of all positive factors of a. And using the same reasoning, we know that sum of all positive factors of b can be written as 1 plus 2 plus 2 squared all the way to plus 2 to the w times 1 plus 3 to the first all the way to plus 3 to the z. And of course, we have a nice geometric series formula to simplify all of this. So we know this thing using geometric series is a 2 to the x plus 1 minus 1. And we know this thing is equal to 3 to the y plus 1 minus 1 over 3 minus 1. Or we can just divide by 2. This is coming straight out from formula for finite geometric series. And the next one 
Well, they are going to be the same as the first two, just the different letters. So 2 to the w plus 1 minus 1 times 3 to the z plus 1 minus 1 over 2. And we know, once again, that this is equal to 2340. So we know 2340 can be written as multiple of 4 integers. So let's make sure we prime factorize 2340. So 2340 is 10 times 234. 234 is obviously divisible by 2, getting us 117. 117 is divisible by 9. 1 plus 1 plus 7 is 9. And 9 times 13 is going to prime factorize it. So 2340 can be written as, that's 2 times 5. And 9 is 3 squared. So we have 2 squared times 3 squared, 9, times 5 times 13. Now there are many ways of going about this. One way of doing it is to realize 2 to the x plus 1 minus 1 and 2 to the w plus 1 minus 1 are always odd, while these two can be even or odd. It depends on the value of y and z. So for the power of 2 minus 1, we don't really have to care about 2 times 2. And let's try listing out some powers of 2 minus 1. Let's go all the way back and remember that x and y and w and z each has to be greater than or equal to 1. So that's telling us we only have to care about 2 squared minus 1, 2 cubed minus 1, 2 to the fourth minus 1, and so on when x is 1, and 3 squared minus 1 over 2, 3 cubed minus 1 over 2, 3 to the fourth minus 1 over 2, and so on. And 2 squared minus 1 is 3, 2 cubed minus 1 is 7, 2 to the fourth minus 1 is 15, 3 squared minus 1 over 2 is 4, this is 26 over 2, this is 242 over 2, or 121. And now let's think about how to break this apart to the product of some of the items in this table. And we see for the factors power of 2 minus 1, we see that we have 3 present in our expression. We can also get 3 times 5 or 15. So 2 to the x plus 1 minus 1 and 2 to the w plus 1 minus 1, two possibilities are 3 times 3 and the other possibility is 3 times 15. These are the only possibilities and that's easy to verify by multiplying out this expression just a bit because obviously 3 squared or 9 is not 1 less than a power of 2. Same thing can be reasoned with 5 times 13. 65 is not 1 less than a power of 2. Also 3 times 13 or 39, that's not 1 less than a power of 2. And now you can multiply 9 times 5, 9 times 13, then 3 times 5 times 13, and 9 times 5 times 13. And you are going to see that none of them is 1 less than a power of 2. So we know these are the only possibilities. And when 2 to the x plus 1 minus 1 times 2 to the w plus 1 minus 1 is 3 times 3, we know the remaining factors are 2 squared times 5 times 13. Or when you multiply this out, 260. And it's pretty easy to see that we cannot get 260 by multiplying two items of the form 3 to the y plus 1 minus 1 over 2. Because 4 times 13 is obviously too small, 4 times 121, 13 times 121, and the rest of the expressions are going to be larger than 260. So the first expression is impossible, no solution for that. But if we are breaking this up to 3 and 15, or 15 and 3, so there are two possibilities, we know the remaining factors are 2 squared times 13. And we immediately see that we have 4 times 13 and that's the only possibility. So we have something in this case. So we now know that 2340 should be divided into 2 squared minus 1, that's 3, and 15 is 2 to the 4th minus 1, and of course 4 and 13 are 3 squared minus 1 over 2, and 3 cubed minus 1 over 2. So now all we have to do is find x, y, w, and z, and let's remember that x, y, w, and z are the exponents of 2 and 3 in a and b. And it's pretty obvious that there are only two possibilities, the first one being a equals to 2 to the first times 3 to the first, first power because this thing is x plus 1, that's x plus 1 as we can see, and that's going to mean that b is 2 cubed times 3 squared, 
2 cubed times 3 squared. And the second possibility is when a is 2 to the first times 3 squared and b is 2 cubed times 3 to the first power. And we want to find, we want to find, let's go back up, the least possible value of a plus b. And we see that in the first case, we are going to have 6 plus, that's 8 times 9, or 72, or 78. In the second case, we have 18 plus 24, also known as 42. And obviously, 42 is smaller than 78. So our final answer is 42. So let's write that down. 42, and we are done.